first I'm going to clone electrons quick start repository CD into it and open it in my core editor now I'm going to run npm install and npm start and you can see here that my application is started Next, we're going to set up our app to intercept any URL that starts with a specific protocol. So here in the documentation, they're using Electron Fiddle, but we can call it whatever we like. So in my main.js, I'm going to set my default protocol client. So you can see here that I'm calling the set as default protocol client method, and I'm registering this string, which is Electron hyphen fiddle. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is listen for the open URL event. Now this event specifically handles your protocol on Unix based systems, which means Linux and Mac OS. Now within this callback, you can do anything with the URL. So in the default documentation, there's just showing an error box. If you are running a Linux or a Mac machine, you can test this out. With that out of the way, let's figure out how to set this up, but for Windows. So for Windows, the first thing you want to do is request a single instance lock. Now this variable resolves into a Boolean that you can check for. Now, if you don't have the lock for the single instance, you can actually quit out of the app. But if you do have the lock, you can run some logic here to actually open the URL and handle your protocol within this else block. Now, this part may be a little confusing, so bear with me. We're going to listen on an event called second instance, which gives us a callback that we can enter some code. Now, within this callback, I want to check if my main window exists. Now, if it does exist and it's minimized, I want to be able to restore it and I want to focus the main window. Just before we continue, we need to make sure that main window is declared outside the scope of this function. So I'm going to remove the const from here and I'm going to make sure that main window is declared outside. Now, before we dive into why the single instance lock is required for windows, let's go ahead and give this a test. So I'm going to head back into my browser and I'm going to type in my URL. And there you go. All right, guys, regarding the instance lock, I'm going to have a description down below so that it doesn't extend the video. And also there's gonna be a part two to this video where I show you how you can sign in with, let's say Google or an OAuth method of your choice using this method. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one.